Hey everybody, what's going on? Your host AMF1534 here. Welcome back to Let's Play some more Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. And you know, we're really far away from where we need to be, so I'm thinking really the best way to go about doing this, I think we're just going to have to fly back to uh, good old Los Santos, but I'm not using that freaking jet, man. <laughs> There's just way too much stress that goes along with using that freaking thing. So I'll, I'll, I'll use the old rustler. We're going to go rustling today. Hiya! All right. I would much rather use this thing than uh, than you know the alternative of not using this thing, just because of how much crap <laughs> that we have to do in order to properly use that Hydra jet. I just uh, the, just the, the, the sheer fact that if you're playing this on the PC, they virtually force you into using your joypad and the numpad on the keyboard pretty much simultaneously. I really find that to be quite troublesome. And what in the crap is following me right now? I see that little re Oh no! Oh no! This is gonna be bad. Oh, nope, we're alive. Okay. Whew. Thank God they built these things to withstand more than one. Now I know why they use them in the war. Um, yeah, dude, I am, uh, I'm having a very stressful day today. But, let me tell you, I I've got a story for you. Once we get our, our mission started, I've got... <laughs> I feel like I've already talked to you guys about this, but I don't think that I did. I think I only mentioned it on Twitter. I think that I had meant to talk about it. Uh-oh, 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 all right. Deploy! Deploy! Ooh, get out of there, Carl! Jeez, let the thing blow up somewhere else, you know? <laughs> yeah, all right. That's what I'm talking about. That is, that is one way to make an entrance. I mean, if, if Mad Dog didn't hear that in the booth... I don't know what it is. I get that for some special effects on the album there, bro. That's, uh, that would be, that'd be great. Man, I'm gonna come up out my car. I'm gonna shoot you right in the face. Because <laughs> <laughs> I gotta use those crazy air horns. God, he's still here? Those are not real headphones. Taking care of business, I see. Torino, fuck you. Almost lost my life out there for you. I got just one tiny little thing for you to do, and then I'm out of and your And I've life. got a tiny thing for you to do, you know Torino. It's called I'm sitting in a tan booth for a moment. Ah, will you stop? A this tanning is booth. Come on, you're embarrassing yourself. Not just a tan-colored booth. Okay? Hey, I got a little surprise for you here. You ready for this? Huh? Answer it. <laughs> what, are you some type of magician now? Hello? Oh, sweet! I don't know what happened. They just released me. No idea what's going on. But I'm in the square outside the precinct in Commerce. All right, you hold tight. I'll be right there. All right. So what was that little job you was talking about, Torino? <laughs> I just <laughs> want you to go pick up your that. brother. I don't yeah. think it... I really don't think it's just picking up our brother. How many times has he ever had us do anything that's that straightforward? I don't, I don't believe it for a second. Not even, not even like a third of a second. Not even like a fraction of a third of a second. There's no way that this mission is going to entail us just going to pick up our brother from outside the precinct. Not happening. It's just going to be like, oh, well, you picked him up from the precinct. Now I'm going to go have you guys drive to Easter Basin, and uh, both of you guys are going to go steal an assault ship, and you're going to go blow up the, the Russians or something. <laughs> it's just... There's, there's got to be some sort of, uh, some sort of Emmett Smith Catch-22 thing going on here. I didn't really worry out very well. <laughs> Sorry, Mike. Definitely uh, banged up your car there. Okay, so before I forget about this and before things get too out of hand, let me, let me tell you about this. You know how I know my, my state is weird. Uh, aside the fact that you know the, the largest city in my state, the, the tagline for their city is keep Portland weird, and so that's, that's always a bad sign to begin with, but. You know how I know my city is weird? Because I don't think I know of any other city in the United States of America, or whatever we want to call it these days, um, I don't think I know of a single city in the state that would involve doing what I saw people doing here. I didn't actually see with my own. Well, I saw pictures of it, but I wasn't actually there. But there were people... Oh, straight for the cash. I probably lost. Um, there were people... I don't really know. I don't even know what the message they were delivering was. That's the weirder part of it. They decided that for whatever reason they were going to take, they were going to 
take dildos. Not even kidding. They were gonna take dildos and they were gonna hang them What's over up, the. They were gonna hey, hang them up, over man? the uh, doing, over on, the uh, telephone lines. Hey man, we all they just decided to straight up do that. Mansion, sweet. We've been putting in work, and shit is going well. We got a stake in the casino. We got some insane shit in Fierro. We get into the rap game. Hey man, let me get you some new clothes. Come on. New clothes? Nigga, what the fuck is this bullshit? What you mean, man? What's mine is yours, and you know that. You never did get a did you, Carl? I need to go check on things in the hood. Man, that's the problem. You always a perpetrator, running from what's real. No, not really. Hey, man, shit's fucked up, dude. <laughs> He's out bettering his life hood. in a no, that's exactly different type of way by what you done making for millions of dollars. Man, what the hood done for me? Always dragging me down. Ever since I got out the hood, shit been cracked. That's everybody dream to get out the hood. Man, you sound just like smoke right now. Before I killed him. All right, man. You hard. I'm gonna show you what's going on in the hood. Huh, interesting. Shit's all fucked up now, dude. Yeah. What you want? It ain't around here no more. Just take me to the I told you. All right, we're 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 headed back to we're really headed back to the stomping grounds now. But yeah, dude, it was it legitimately happened. Like I got onto Twitter that morning, and I I, I saw that somebody had posted a picture of that, and I was like, wait. What? Like, I, I, I couldn't actually, like, figure out what it was for a minute. I was like, what is that hanging off the phone lines? And I zoom in on the picture, and it's totally just a pair of dildos, like, strapped together with, like, some twine or something. And they're just, like, dangling over the, the phone lines. I was like, what is going on in the city right now? And then I read into it a little bit further to find out that, that like, the, uh, like, PGE, which is, like, the, the electric company, the people that go out there and they have to deal with that stuff, they're like, yeah, we got like about a about a hundred confirmed cases of finding these around the town. I just, they're like, we have no idea why this is happening, but I mean, we gotta go take care of it. Uh -oh. Hey, yeah, yeah, what, yeah, what about this blender? It's, it's really good. It's, it's, it sort of works. Man, what the fuck? That's <laughs> Looks like a giant root beer mug. Look like base heads and took over the spot. Let's go home. This is home, man. Get these fuckers out of mom's house. You was born in there. Damn. All right, let's go check out. Kill any crack dealers in your hood to keep your can to keep the gang healthy. All right. No, oh, that's not good. Yeah, if they're if they're high on crack, that's not going to help any. Oh boy. Okay. Well, this is this is what was and this was bound to happen at some point. All right, where are these people at? Set you claim. Oh, here we go. Here, here's the guys. So yeah, dude, I just, I, I couldn't really figure out like what was the, what was, what in the world? Okay, <laughs> I did not see those guys like just right there, ready and raring to go. I didn't see their red square there or anything. That was a really strange thing. But yeah, dude, I, I just, I, like even still after this whole thing has been over, I still have no idea. Like, why exactly, like, people were doing it? Like, was there a special... What? Well, get back over here, then, you stupid idiot. Come on. Well, you know, he's, he's cool. He's, he's, he's fine, it seems like. Um, but, yeah, I just, like, I couldn't figure out, like, what type of message they were trying to deliver. Like, what was, what was the, what was, like, the, the mission statement of them doing that? Because normally when people... Like, from what I, like, normally when people hang things off of, um, when people hang things over phone lines like that, like, when you see, like, shoes dangling over there, does, I feel like, doesn't that usually indicate that somebody's been, like, like a child's been killed or murdered or something? Isn't that generally how that works? God, sweet, get over here, man. Stop standing in just one freaking area. Get over here and help me out. Oh, hey, what's up? All right, here comes some more dudes. We got we got Gang War Central going on right here, and we are not going to lose. That's the best part. <laughs> oh no, we're dead. <laughs> oh no, I wasn't paying attention. That entire time, for some reason, I just I didn't even look at my health bar, like not even a little bit. Well, that sucks. That really sucks. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Just because I don't want to put you guys through the pain and suffering of me going all the way back to fly all the way back to Mad Dog's place, I'm gonna I'm gonna cut it off right here so that I can fly all the way back there. Then we'll resume from there. So I'll see you guys in just a second.
Okay, guys, we're back. So, <laughs> I guess really what I need to do is I just need to be a lot more... I need to be a lot more careful when we're going through that. For some reason, I think it's just because of, like, in that last mission, we, we went and rolled through that that highly, you know, government, uh, you know, just like military watched area, and we just murdered a whole bunch of people, and we took, like, no damage in the process. So, despite, you know, and then we go and walk into, like, a gang-infested area for a couple minutes, and we take all the damage. But then again, all those people were, like, right up in my face, so... I think I just... I need to, I need to come back down to reality for a moment and realize that I am totally not invincible. But, yeah, dude, that, in, that entire thing is just so bizarre to me. Like, what... What would... Like, what would possess people to want to do something like that, you know? Like, like it's it's totally harmless in nature. It's not like somebody got killed by that or something. It's not like, oh man, it's, it's, uh, I was dry I was driving down down 35th and in, in Ash Street when you know when a couple of dildos that were hanging off of the phone line fell off and broke the windshield of my car, and then I caused a five car pile up and everybody inside was murdered. <laughs> you know, it wasn't like that. It was totally harmless in nature, but like people also had to go out and buy those because it's not. I can't imagine that, you know, all the people that went and hung those things up, I can't imagine that everybody had a pair of two of those on hand. Which also leads me to the next question. How many of those things were used? <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know if I really even want to know. But yeah, dude, Oregonians, man, we are we are weird-ass people. And I, don't, and I don't necessarily take a ton of pride in that, like... Sure, maybe like a little bit, because it's like, ah, oh, we're, we're kind of unique, weird people. But at the same time, it's like, dude, we are freaking weird people. <laughs> it's it's not exactly the most becoming thing in the world. Like, Oregonians, I think, are the only people that I know, because I, I do know a number of people from, from many, many states in this, in this country. Oregonians are the only people that I know that will willingly drive over an hour up the freeway just to go to Portland to get a donut. Hey, yo, yo, They're the only doing? people that I know that do that. I, I, just, I mean, I've totally done it. I'm not going to sit here and say that I am above this, this, this statement here and that I've never done it before because Voodoo Donuts is freaking awesome. So I will, I will totally do that. Hey, what's up? What do you guys think you're doing? You, you want, you want some of this? Oh, hey, God, sweet. You gotta, you gotta chill, man. I mean, I'm probably the one that actually... God, where are these guys coming from? They're just like, all of a sudden, they're just here. They're like coming out of the woodwork like a bunch of rats. It's alright, though. Now, now that I know, now that I know exactly who to look for here, nobody's, nobody's really gonna catch me off guard, except for the fact that these guys are just... They're already... God, they're already taking a bite out of me! This is ridiculous! Um, and I can't, it's not like I can just go inside and save or anything. Oh, what are you doing? Come on! Why would I even think about doing that? Why, why would hitting him benefit anybody there? Why is that not killing him? What in the crap? I was sitting there shooting at that guy and it literally wasn't doing anything at all. How retarded was that? Alright, alright. Gotta do it a third time, apparently. This is... oh boy, this is getting ugly. Okay, guys, we are back for a third round. It's just so stupid. <laughs> I have an idea, though. A, I went and ran through the house, looking through the bedrooms to see if there was in some extra body armor in there, and there totally was, which is awesome. The other thing that I'm going to do is I'm also going to... Uh, I'm gonna go and start... I'm gonna start using uh, the assault rifle instead. I figure that's it's got way more stopping power. I don't know why I didn't think about using that earlier. Um, so I think that might be a smarter idea, you know? I also thought about stopping by um, ammunition on the way there just so I could uh, pick up some extra munitions, but I don't know if I don't know if we're going to need it necessarily. I mean, if I end up somehow consuming all of the uh, if I end up using up all of the assault rifle ammo that we've got during this mission, we do still have uh, this this SMG right here, so I guess that would in essence be okay if we ended up having to use it. Um, but yeah, just whatever whatever we can do that's going to oh boy, this isn't gonna go over very well. My car's gonna blow. Okay, we're good. <laughs> yeah, not only did we explode a car in heavy traffic, but we also stole the car that was right there. That's that's definitely not gonna 
That's not going to look well on your permanent record. But I think we'll be okay. So yeah, dude, that's that's my little spiel about Oregonian sometimes. <laughs> that's that's gotta be quite possibly one of the weirdest one of the weirdest stories that I've heard this year. I, I've I've heard some things, but that's gotta be the weirdest one, you know? That's uh it's it's truly gotta be one of, the, one of the dumbest things and one of the most interesting at the same time. Okay, here we go. Let's let's go back to the hood because Sweet's really got to see it. He's just really got to know. I mean, it's it's definitely it's definitely not there anymore. If if the other two iterations of us going out to this house and having it being loaded to the brim with ballas and crackheads, eh. I, don't know, I, I think that uh, maybe he would enjoy Mad Dog's mansion just a little bit more. Not to mention that I've got, you know, $1.6 million in my pocket right now that I can use at my disposal at any given time if I if I really want. So I don't I don't really know what his uh, what his what his uh, real need to be at this house is right now. I mean, I guess it's a loyalty thing, but you know. Sometimes you just gotta, you, sometimes you just gotta let go, you know? And I'm not, don't even think for one second I'm gonna start quoting the damn song, because I'm not going to. You guys already know that I thought about it, but I'm not gonna do it. Okay, there are people that need to die, and uh, we're going to ensure that they do. See, this is how much easier this is going to be, you know? And you are dead, and you are dead, and you are dead, and you are dead. <laughs> shows how much easier that process is. You're dead, and you're dead, and man, it's just so, it's such a, it's, it is a better weapon in every conceivable way. It has better range, it has more stopping power to it, it just, it's just better, you know? <laughs> I mean, I don't really think there's another possible way for me to explain how much better of a weapon that is. Oh, come on. There we go. I got. I got. I almost shot Sweet right in the face. I absolutely almost just popped him right in the noggin. God, where are these guys always coming from? It just seems like there's always like 12 or 13 or 14 of them, always right there. I mean, if we can funnel them over this way, this should be a little bit easier to do. You survived the second wave. Well, that's good. However, we gotta get all the way over there. Okay, we gotta get all the way over here to get that get that health and that armor. I will get it. Nope, you're good. You're 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 straight. Come on, give me the thing! <laughs> oh gosh! Yee I'm running. I am running. I don't even care right now. I know I've got full stuff on hand, but you know, I'm not even trying to mess with it. I know I gotta kill all the red arrow people too. That's those are the real those are the real, the real culprits here, but all these other fools, since they keep getting in the way, I gotta, I gotta bust a cap in their ass, too. Oh, yeah, blow up the car! You guys run away. I'll be glad, I'll be glad to deal with you that, in that format. Come on! Yeah, run away with your oversized shirt and your purple shorts. The hood is mine! Damn right the hood's mine. Third time's the charm. But now we still have to kill these other dudes, and... Steal all their money. Now we have to kill the dealers, which are all these other dudes. And I'm totally cool with that. Get out of my face. Man, these guys have money. <laughs> I mean, they are dealers, and that totally makes sense. But hey, I'm down. I, I've, I've already got the uh, the Lloyd Banks hunger for more, you know? I love how these guys are just standing out here. They're like, oh, I'm a dealer. I'm just going to stand here and take it. <laughs> I'm not even going to fight back. Kendall can come see me right here at her home. But Dude, you need to stop being so no damn stubborn. Let's get out of this place. Day, yeah, well, guess I what? It, it fell down faster than it was built, I'm sure. Oh, hey, what's up? <laughs> you, my friend, are not wearing very much. I'm sure it's pretty hot out, though. I'm, I'm sure she has reasons. I'm sure she has... Oh, boy. Hey, it's like, it's like the opening missions all over again, having missions to do here. All right, you know what? We're going to go inside and save if I can find a way to get around this. And we're up. Come on, alley up, alley up, up onto the deck. Nope, it's not gonna happen. Oh, for crying out loud! I just really don't want to take that mission right now. I just want to find a different way to get across that without taking it. 
All right, here we go. Here goes nothing. Hey! The there we go. <sighs> cool. Ah, back home. Back home to the house that got kind of sort of ransacked for a blender. All right, my friends, well, we have run out of time for this episode. So when we come back on the next installment of Let's Play Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, we get to do missions with Sweet, like it was 90 episodes ago. <laughs> so until then, my friends, this is your host, AMF, saying thank you guys for watching. And uh, watch out for dildos on the power lines. It's just a weird thing.